squad i haven't talked to you guys in such a long time last time i had done a vlog was back in january so i thought i would start this vlog going to the grocery store like we always do a few months ago but we can't do it frequently now instead of going every day i go once a week and that's how it's been like for the past three weeks now so it's not that bad for me anyways, because I can still go for a walk. Just just do self-distancing. So instead of going close to someone, just do two or three meters. That's what they recommend. So I am not complaining. Like, this is a sad time through this entire world. And we need to just to see a light of day. This is how I see it. I take one day at a time, you know, and the positive message through all this is keep fighting. Stay inside, self-distance. That's the key word, self-distance. What do you guys all think? You guys think I'm right? Cause I'm just taking from what the government is telling us. So, I mean, staying inside hasn't really been an issue for me because I've always been an inside kind of guy. I've never really went out to places like parks. Well, I went to parks, but I rarely went to movie theaters, concert, and things like that. So staying inside isn't really a big thing for me. So I've been keeping busy filming reviews, editing reviews. So going for small walks throughout the neighborhood. What you guys all been doing? Let me know in the comment section below. Got a big list of things I have to get at the grocery store, so I'm gonna be heading to Food Basics in hopes that it's not gonna be busy. Because uh, last time I went to Food Basics, I was just zipping through the aisles, like getting what I need and zipping out of that aisle, like keeping my distance away from everyone. Even though there has only been two reported cases of COVID 19 in Chatham, in Chatham, Kent. I'm not really taking that risk, you know, like, I still need to get a few things, but I'm just zipping through the aisles. Like, I think I spent five minutes in a grocery store and I got a cart full of things. So, that's what I'm gonna continue doing until this pandemic is done. And now, the state of emergency, now everyone's like in panic mode, which, you know, that's the first initial reaction when people are like hearing state of emergency, you know, we all go in panic mode. It's like, what do we do? What can we do? So there's really nothing we can do just except stay as far as away from people and uh, stay inside, which like I said, isn't a big deal for me. So I'm going to record my progress on what I've been doing for the past couple of days. Uh, showing you guys a few things that I've been eating. And a few months ago, I had started intermittent fasting, which has been working really good for me. And I kind of lost track of the whole fasting, and I've stopped doing that for at least a week or two. But I want to start the intermittent fasting all over again, maybe possibly next Monday. So I'll keep you guys all posted. Birthday on the 21st, and... We didn't really do much, but it was fine. We did a small like supper with dessert. We had brownies for dessert, which you guys all know, I'm a huge brownie lover. So 
when someone told me that we were having brownies, I was all for it. Pretty surprising. Food Basics isn't as busy as the other day. I mean, it still looks busy, but not really that busy, right? Like, people need things, you know, and the government, they expect us to stay inside, but they do know that we do need to get a few essential things, right? You got to eat, you got to drink. So even though people are, are going overboard with the whole toilet paper thing, but I think we got plenty of toilet paper. We stocked up in like a month ago when this, before this whole pandemic started and we buy our toilet paper from Costco. So we're stocked up. Food basics, so I'll show you guys what I got when I get out, so let's go. I am out of food basics and it was crazy in there. I didn't think it was that busy because the outside didn't look like that busy, but when you got in there, it was crazy. So I got $86 worth of groceries that's gonna last us for a while, at least, I'm hoping. I might just have to go back, like Monday, to pick up a few small things that I didn't pick up today, because there wasn't any. Like, the stocks are very limited. There's not a lot of things, things that I needed anyways, like cleaning supplies. They didn't have barely any, so I have to go back, but that's fine. If it can last us with whatever we have now for at least a week, it should be at least a week and a half, two weeks. We can stretch it. So, yeah, for those who are going out, be precaution. Like, think about others. Like, for supplies anyways, there's things that are limited, which is good. But, uh, yeah, think about others before buying large quantities of it of whatever you're looking for. Now I'm walking home. And winter jacket, and it's gorgeous out today. I am sweating, but it's good that it's nice. Finally, we're getting that nice weather. Barbecue season, I feel. That's what I might do. I might end up barbecuing sometime this weekend if I can get some burgers and some buns then a good cheeseburger on the barbecue oh and I'm just gonna show you guys what I got it costed me about $86 so I'll show you we'll start over here we got some of these frozen dinners or frozen lunches I call them because I like these these are like frozen meals dinner classic with fried chicken and creamy mashed potatoes I got six of them these they don't sell because there are not a lot of people are thinking about frozen stuff. So I got six of them. I got a brick of cheese, a dozen eggs. I got myself a can of pop, even though I don't drink pop that often, but I thought this was kind of neat. Retro Pepsi. I got some pasta sauce. I got two jars. I got three things of Lay's Stacks. They were on sale for three for five. I got some of these yogurts. These are so good. I've been hooked on these. My sister-in-law actually introduced me to these. I got some pizza sauce, some bagels down here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I got some popcorn, crackers for soup. I got two things of Simply Orange Juice. I got a thing of uh, dish soap. And what else I got? So I got some over here. I got some everything bagels. Got some ham, some lunch ham. Got some goldfish, some yogurt, and some English muffins. So I got all of this. For $86. Does this look like it's worth $86? Let me know in the comments section below. It's Thursday, March 26, and I'm currently making a quick little snack, uh, little mini pizzas with English muffins, pepperoni, and cheese, and I'm currently making myself a coffee. So I'm gonna show you guys what my pizzas look like. Stocked up with coffee. I stocked up a couple months ago, way before this coronavirus, so I'm well stocked up on coffee and I'm well stocked up on creamer. So coffee is definitely something that I'm not gonna be missing, but I definitely do miss my regular visits to an actual Tim Hortons location. I have Tim Hortons close to my heart. I got Tim Hortons right here. 
two of the creamers that I use. Normally I use this one because there's already sugar in here. Or this one, I use table cream 18%. I find that this is like the closest to what Tim Hortons uses. From what people are telling me, that's what they use, the 18%. So I'm using 18% or sometimes I use the uh, double double. I think that's what it's called, yeah, double double mate. And this has already sugar in it, so I don't need to add sugar. So this is like, like a two in one. So if you don't need to get sugar, get this and it saves you getting sugar. I have my coffee and I have my quick snack. So I'll have maybe one of these for a snack with my coffee and I'm gonna go upstairs and edit. It's the only thing I can do really. The past couple of days, I've been doing a lot of editing. So I'm really caught up on my reviews for you guys because I want to bring you guys the best videos that you guys can watch through all of this. You know, this whole quarantine and you need to stay inside. You guys need to watch something, right? So reviews are one of them. Afternoon squad, how is everyone doing it today? Today it is Sunday, March 29th, and I was just editing some uh, reviews, and I just thought, let's go outside and vlog a little bit to let you guys know what's going on. I haven't vlogged in a couple of days, just mainly because I, there wasn't much to vlog, really, because I wasn't going out anywhere. I didn't need to go to Food Basics or anything, so I think the last time I went to Food Basics was the first time I vlogged, and which was on Wednesday. So I'm not sure what else to really vlog. Um, going to show you guys a few things that I've been doing like uh, I've been drinking coffee at home that's one thing I've been doing um, I've been making a lot more different things at home uh, I went to food basics the other day got some English muffins I'm not sure if you guys could be able to hear me with all the wind but it's what can I say overcast today it's grayish but a little sunny patches of sun but as I was saying, I went to Food Basics the other day, got some English muffins. I made some little mini English muffin pizzas, which I had posted on Instagram. So if you guys still haven't checked out on all my social medias, go inside and have a coffee because I need coffee. We need caffeine to start up our day, right? Or not really start up our day, it's in the afternoon. So to continue on our day. Keeping myself busy, I've been editing and watching Apple TV, Netflix, Disney Plus, things like that. I'm going to be filming a review on the Cotton Candy Rockstar. The reason why I didn't film the uh, Cotton Candy and the Marshmallow into one video is because with this whole coronavirus and not be able to go to fast foods and get new things to review, I thought I would extend some of the products. So instead of doing uh, the two rock stars into one video, I would extend it into two videos. So that way you guys can have something to watch. So I'm here to entertain you guys through all of this. This isn't new, but I thought I would do a review on this as well, this Yope, because I've never seen this flavor. This is the tropical flavor with pineapple, mango, and banana. So I thought I would give you guys a review on this. This Yope, I have never seen this this flavor. I know there was strawberry, vanilla, those common flavors, but I've never seen this tropical one. And I thought I would give this a try for you guys. I have this Nescafe cappuccino. I thought I would give this a try too. Uh, I had gotten this with my sample source box back in the fall a few months ago. So this is still good. So I thought I'd give this a try for you guys as well. So have you guys tried this? Let me know in the comment section below if you guys have tried the Nescafe Cappuccino. I'm done filming the review on the Yope Tropical Flavor and the Rockstar Thermal X, the cotton candy. So you'll have to check this out. As always, follow me on Instagram. That way you guys know when these reviews will be up. Hey, it is April 1st and I'm having a coffee a coffee in my CB12 review mug, of course, that you can get at teesprings.com slash store slash number 12. Get them now. Oh, good. Not as good as Tim Hortons, though. This is Tim Hortons instant coffee, but i rather have actual Tim Hortons double-double. I haven't had that in so long. I can't even recall when was the last time I had a coffee from Tim Hortons. This uh, quarantine is... Uh, is changing lives and I'm hoping for this to finally be over I can't wait for this to finally be over I know it's probably not near over but I'm hoping very soon I'm uh, keeping everyone in my prayers especially New York Italy China is finally recovering from what people are telling me but it's it's getting out of hand 
I'm hoping by the end of this, it's over. We go on and support our local businesses that have lost so much through all this. So I'm definitely going to be supporting all of my local businesses, including Maple City Bakery. Good afternoon, good evening everyone, welcome back to the vlog once again. Today it is April 3rd, I'm going to edit the vlog tonight, which is Friday, and probably have it for you guys for either tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday. I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know how I'm doing and how I'm doing through all of this health crisis with COVID-19 and coronavirus. So I'm doing pretty good. I go grocery shopping at least once every week or two. I'm trying to not go in stores as much as I used to. I used to go to the store every day almost because you guys all know every time I vlogged in the last year, I was always at Food Basics practically every day or every other day. So now since this whole health crisis, I've been really going to the store less than I used to. So this has been really hard because I like going to the store every day because I like to stock up every day. But now instead of doing, you know, every day grocery shopping, I'm doing a huge grocery shopping and it's uh, once every week or two. I you that not being able to go out as much is kind of getting to me. But knowing the fact that you can still go out for little walks around your neighborhood, as long as you're keeping distance from someone, it's still pretty good, better than nothing, right? It could be to the point where we can't go out and we are forced to stay inside. At least we still have a little bit of freedom of being able to go for walks around the block and to get some fresh air. You know, it's better than nothing, right? So we're doing the best that we can to better our future and hopes that this will end. The only thing that really affects me anyways, it's Tim Hortons because I'm not able to go to the actual location and getting my coffee. I have to uh, order from Skip the Dish, which isn't that bad. I mean, I could still do that, but I like to go into the store and actually get my things. So I'm going to go back inside and make dinner. I'm going to make some pizza. I bought this pizza crust from Food Basics, so I thought I would just make pizza tonight. And I bought some uh, some pizza sauce, and I got some cheese, I got some pepperoni. So we're going to make that something quick and easy that uh, the family can, can enjoy. So we're going to go back inside and uh, start making a dinner. So let's go. Bonus slide. It is really nice in Chatham today, actually. Very surprising. It's sunny and a little on the chilly side, but it feels really good. It feels nice to have nice weather, but it kind of sucks that you can't go to the park and enjoy the weather. You know, like, it's crazy how, you know, sometimes we got to take a close look at what we used to have and be thankful that we had that and maybe with this pandemic maybe it's a, a learning curve it's like we have to learn from from this pandemic and maybe then we'll be more prepared in the future if this happens again what i got this pizza kit came with two pizza crust i got this from food basics you get two pizza sauce with a two crust and then you just got to get the cheese and then the pepperoni here is my pizza that i already made and it's going to go in the oven at about 350 degrees, maybe 400. So this is my pizza after coming out of the oven. As you can see, it's really good. Showed you, you can still have pizza homemade and it still tastes amazing. Go to the grocery store, get yourself some crust and make your own pizza. I recommend it. End the vlog right here, but I hope you guys all enjoyed watching the first vlog in over three months. A lot of you guys have missed the vlog. I get messages a lot every day asking me to put up a vlog for you guys. So here it is. It's a one week and a half, two weeks vlog. I started back in March. It was March 25th when I started the vlog. It was the first time I had went to Food Basics in over about two weeks. So... I hope you guys all enjoyed watching everything that uh, I had shared with you guys. I'm going to continue to share my life and what I'm doing and keep you guys all posted and updated on what's going on with my life. So 
As always, if you guys did enjoy this vlog, show your support by giving this video a thumbs up. Subscribe as always. Don't forget to turn my post notification on so you never miss a vlog. All my links, my social media will be in the description. So do follow me as always on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for upcoming vlogs. So until next week, peace out.